Okay, after getting <laughs> unintentional extra cliffhanger last week, let's actually continue, shall we? Well, well, well. I suppose I do want to load this file. This must be a shock for you, so I'll try and explain your position right now. Let's review where we left off here. You've been playing with fire, and it's time you took responsibility. Mother, that's enough. M mother That means... Huh? Why so surprised? Did Kaito never tell you about me? Well then, I guess someone has to explain things here. My name is Takane Sakuma. Kaito is my son. Well, well. Kaito's mom? Then why did you just pull a gun on me? What exactly is going on here? I don't like the look on his face. Relax, you can trust me. I only want to help you recognize that there were consequences to what you've been up to. We've been keeping an eye on you ever since that tournament six months ago. Secret agent? I remember correctly from last semester, Kaito said that his parents had a lot of connections. What do you mean by that? Who do you work for? Huh, that's a good one. You've seriously never heard of me. You're asking the wrong question. I think the most more important detail is who works for me. I'm the fourth congressional governor of Aichi uh, Prefecture. Well, damn. Kaito, you've been... Mm. What? Is she serious? Himiko, I'm afraid it's true. She's one of a handful, of, a handful of executives overseeing illegal operations in this region. And that's not all. The government has assigned me special security directives. I must pursue all threats to our nation. That's why I'm here. You nearly killed Kana Suzuki with your little stunt from yesterday. Nothing to say? You won't even deny it? How did you know about that? That's what you want to know? I would have thought that much was obvious. We have eyes and ears everywhere. For years, my team has performed regular checks on Yoshino's entire drone cache. Who do you think funded that thing anyways? Security without oversight would be a foolish proposition. For years? Then that means... If Kana had gone through with her plan, you could have stepped in and stopped it the moment they tried reprogramming their machines. Now you're starting to catch on. Oh, we didn't know the particulars of the Typhoon Initiative's plan. We accounted for every possibility. That group participating in the, in the Spring Championships was no coincidence. That's why the match at the head governor's estate was necessary. That is where we laid our trap. So Kaito's theory was correct. The government opened up the tournament specifically to draw out those rebels. Thanks to you, their prime commander was exposed and her group was dismantled. The outcome was as we had hoped. But you were the unexpected element. Your interruption in our design has had its downsides, too. Namely, the fact that you've been causing trouble and poking around in places you don't belong. Which brings us back to yesterday. I don't get it. Why would the government take issue with a little school incident like that? Kana's just a useless criminal. You misunderstand. That event was simply the catalyst which brought our focus back to the Masaki girls. You and your mother have been a thorn in our side ever since that day. Does she mean... When Yuko Masaki left me five years ago? No, please. This is official business, Kaito. Stay out of it. Now, how can I put this in a way you'd understand? You could care less whether Kana Suzuki lives or dies. What we do care about is you. Your special ability. Let's just say it's of great it's of great interest to the prefecture. What? There's no way! How? The archived research recovered from the initiative's operating base clued us into the possibility of your little gift. When you exclaimed that move in your match with Azumi, it was broadcast to all of Japan. That practically confirmed the situation. You're not the first problem like this we've had to deal with. Even the Spring Championships Committee has had to cover up their past experience with this phenomenon. Oh? The mystic eyes of chess perception is a known thing? Still, we waited. 
As long as you weren't a threat to Aichi, we had time to let you simmer in your little power fantasy. But your time has run out. Can't believe it. Committee and even the government was aware of the power I possess? Takane just said that it, it was suspected after recovering research from the Typhoon Initiative. That explains why Shiro knew about it last semester. The Initiative knew about it to some degree. Could that be the missing link that explains my shattered memories from that day? So, to answer your question from before, we need you alive and out of prison. Your gift is too valuable for that. If you work, but if you work for the government, couldn't you just clear any charges brought against me? My team's work is strictly confidential, so it would be some time before we could get approval to transfer you. So let this be a lesson. You can't just go around threatening people with guns to get what you want. Aha! Uh -huh, you're one to talk! The irony! Then, did you call me down to the arena just to, repr just to reprimand me? I'm afraid not. You're here because I believe it's time we finally took control of this situation. If you agree to come with me right now, my team is prepared to study your abilities for a minimum of two years at a research facility. We're under surveillance, of course, but you'd get a comfy room and weekends to yourself. The mental plan is adequate, too. Wh wow, what a deal. You do understand that your schooling would be interrupted. We're more than happy to pay your tuition in a new school once you're released. This seems like a... Hmm. Huh? There's no way this is real. Why would I ever agree to something like that? Oh, that's a no. I have no intention of being a lab rat for the next two years. I'm happy to hear it. Now this, now this can finally get a little interesting. Please, I can't do this. Kaito's being a bit of a spoil sport right now, but I promise you, he'll give it his all when the match begins. So that's why she dragged us both down here. Let's make it official, then. If you accept this new proposal, you'll be facing Kaito in a round of Shinogi Chess. If you decline, I'll pull Kaito out of this school for good. Wow, Jesus! As his legal guardian, I'm more than happy to submit the paperwork. Uh, why? This is insane. She'd force her own son to leave behind the friends and classes? classmates he knew at Yoshino High School? I strongly suggest you accept. If you do, the wager will be thus. If you win onto the... What? If you win, I'll do the exact same thing I would if you declined. Try to leave this wretched place and find somewhere else to thrive. That should give, that should give him enough incentive to play, right? He wouldn't want to lose his status in the chess club, I'm sure. If Kaito wins, you'd turn yourself into our research facility and agree to become the focus of our new study. Why? Why did it have to come to this? You're not giving us much choice. It's clear that either way you get something you want. This is the real world, Himiko. I'll do whatever is necessary to secure the safety of my prefecture. Mom of the year. How about this? I'll have a little bonus for you. I know how interested you've been in finding your mother. If you win, I'll promise to give you the biggest clue we've uncovered regarding her whereabouts. My division has, my division has been hard at work trying to locate her new organization, and I'm willing to give you one of our best leads. Does that sound a little more fair? Uh, should I try to fight it? Mmm! Worthless coward! Does she really think something like that would slow me down? I see right through your pathetic attempt at provocation. This is the corruption I was meant to destroy. These delusions end here. I only want one thing, and nothing is going to get in my way while I pursue that desire. Kaito's status means nothing to me. I'll burn it down myself if I have to. This is your fault, Takane Sakuma. I understand in time, Kaito will forgive me for what I'm about to do. That bold, sta bold statement, but... He probably will, but still, bold statement. They don't be one step closer to fighting and killing my mother. This is the path I must walk if the world is going to change. All I have to do is pretend like I'm hesitant, and the rest will fall into place. Wasaki, your eyes are glowing again. What's with that look on your face? I'll, I'll accept your proposal. I'll play Shinoki Chess. Ah, I knew you'd see a reason eventually. At the very least, it'll buy us some time to think. 
But if I lose, everything I've worked toward will go to waste. Without my freedom, I'll never be able to stop Yuko Masaki in time. Come up onto the stage. Okay, we can get this match started. Everything is done. In chess. Until now, every wager I've accepted was a simple win or loss proposition with clear benefits for each party. I never would have imagined that I'd face a situation like this, one where I don't know if claiming victory is even the right option. But if the outcome is bad either way, I have to look out for myself first and minimize the damage to my reputation. This is why I made that promise to myself. I won't falter no matter the cost. This is, this is where we... Uh start getting into the the real world applications of Shinogi Chess. The business dealings aren't necessarily the greatest. It's like when backroom business deals are decided through Shinogi Chess. The real world is cruel, not necessarily a win-loss sporting deal here. Kaito, I'm so sorry. I still don't understand. Why she's why she's just so determined to make you leave the school? Why wouldn't she want the best for you? Naito here has been causing quite the ruckus this past year. He's been using my contacts and influence to further his own investigations, or so he calls it. Poking around like that is not befitting of a boy with that sort of potential. And Yoshino High School is to blame. He's just putting his talents to good use. Kaito was supposed to be the best Shinogi chess player in the country. But the school let him down with all these social distractions. He's not even vice president of the chess club. It's pathetic. Wow, wow, jeez. That's... You shouldn't say that. It's pointless, Himiko. She's going to get what she wants. I don't think I've ever seen him this upset before. Now, you two wait here while I set up the colored spotlights. I want this match to feel... important. What, really? Quick run. This is insane. If she really works with the government, why won't she just arrest me or something? I believe it's because she's disobeying their directives at the moment. What? What? But she said they were prepared to study my abilities. That's probably true. I've guessed that they haven't procured a warrant through the proper channels yet. With the absence of approval from the higher ups, my mother is likely just trying to set up an easy way to get what they're after. I see. So if I willingly subject myself to the study through this wager, I would eliminate a lot of the hurdles in terms of paperwork and time. Exactly. I know she's only doing it to get the attention of the head governor, but she wouldn't want his staff to find out. That would explain why she came alone. She's, uh, she's acting rogue. Himiko. Sorry if I sounded stressed earlier. This is the trouble I was trying to avoid telling you about. She's been nagging me for the past few days about taking leave from Yoshino. It seems tonight she's finally lost it. Must be something we can do. We just need a plan. I'm afraid it's not that simple. If we dare to disobey, she'll likely follow through on her threat or escalate the situation further. However... There may be a path that would stop you from being dragged away like this should you lose the round. It's possible that with the right help, someone could see that your wager was made under duress, if proven in a court of law. I could, get, I could get the authorities to protect me from the unlawful study? Maybe that's something Mr. Cross could help with. That is his job, after all. Is that really true? Could there be a way to evade my detainment? Was Kaito just hoping for the best to avoid the guilt of playing against me? There's no way to tell yet. There's one last thing you should be aware of before she returns. Mother intends for us to play with a variant board. What? Wait, what? You mean this won't be a regular game? The rules will be the same, but the barrier squares will be in different positions than what you're used to. All right. I've heard that board variants exist, which are still considered valid Shinoki chess configurations by the government. In other words... This is an official match like any other, but block squares could provide cha prove challenging to adapt to. Just keep in mind that it will affect your strategy. That's all I have to say about that. Here we go. Please don't take this personally. 
I'm going to try my best to win. I'm not about to give up everything I've worked so hard to achieve here at Yoshino. And us. I understand. I'm sorry you had to come to this. Oh, that's... <laughs> Excellent. The stage is set and I've written your wages down in the official match record book. You can now set up your pieces and start the game. So, this is it. Please, forgive me, Himiko. There's nothing to forgive. We're both making an impossible choice. I looked after you as much as I could these past six months. But I can't just sit idly by my while my life is ruined by someone like her. So I'm going to show my mother what it means to be a true Shinogi chess player. I'll fight to the bitter end. Heck yeah. Never seen Kaito play this game before. If I have to guess, he'd likely rival Kana in terms of skill. In part, if he knows what his expected play style on my data pad, I can access it by pressing tab. Should be logical, would probably prove to be a tough opponent. You should be extra careful. Hmm. Sound strategy for acquiring the check objectives. Very logical. Very good. He's not a computer, is he? Today, I have the courage to stand up to, stand up to my mother's cowardice and earn my right to stay at the Ocean High. <laughs> now that's rich. Set up the board already, little brat. Everything is on the line here. If I falter, everything I've worked toward will be for nothing. I can't risk losing. There's no way I could trust my fate to someone like her. Who knows if I'd, if I'd even get a chance to reach out for help? There's no other option but to win. I'm sorry, Kaito, but this is how it has to be. I must stop Yuki Musaki at all costs. Nobody I trust has the strength to find her. Nobody I trust has the strength to kill her. So with my own strength, I must win. I must win. Oh, this is different indeed. Hmm. Alright, here. Hmm. Alright. It's doing pretty much what I expected. Let's get aggressive, shall we? Well, that makes things difficult, actually, because... difficult. Oh wow, alright.
Let's be careful here. Kaito's style is very aggressive. Let's figure out what we want to do here. Can I get cheeky here? Oh god, hello. Depends on how much of the resources I want to lose here. <laughs> drop you here. Capture. Alright. 2-1. Yes, this is a good start. Ugh. Kaito, are you sure you're okay? Yes, it's just... I know I should have expected that you'd want to keep your freedom, but probably is still upset that you refused to give me the victory. Uh-huh. I wasn't sure what to do in this situation. Selfish of me, but I just thought you'd value my wishes a bit more. Everything I do for the Shinogi Chess Club, I thought you'd want me to stay. I do, but Kaito, facing extreme circumstances here. they take me away, I'd be away from the school too. I'd lose my friends and my classes. I won't be part of the club either. I suppose I can see your perspective, yes. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me. It's not often that Kaito is this flustered. Giving irrationally is the one thing I never expected from him. I can't let it shake me. I must win. Only once I've secured my freedom can I worry about what happens next. 
So I have to put everything I have into this game. I'm going to try and take the right side to left side tower, I think. doing on this side of the board. Okay, he's assembling the squad. Jumping in on me. Let's see what you do next. Oh, okay. Very interesting. If you dare. No, nope, you're assembling this direction. Thank you. 
bop. All right. Very good. Hmm. Sure. I'll take that. Getting there. There's only, a little more, there's only a little bit more to go, and I'll earn my freedom. Himiko, this is probably an impertinent sentiment, but I can't but feel you're letting your desire to find your mother outweigh your sense of justice. What's that supposed to mean? You obviously don't want to become a lab rat, right? that much is clear. But I realize that there's even more riding on this match. My mother has been searching for Yuka Masaki with government support. When she offered to give you information, I could tell that something changed within you. Kaito, I don't... It's quite alright. I understand. I'm just trying to vocalize my frustrations. It was childish of me to expect anything better from this world. This is bad, but I can't let up. Once, once this is over, I'll apologize and make things right. I have to. Good luck. Until that moment, I must press on. without a position myself. Hmm. And safely put myself here. you. What's my play here? It's obviously this. A little bit of this. Oof. All right, bet. Take back. Uh oh.
We'll drop you there. As long as this square here is safe. Sacrifice check. <laughs> Ooh, you're getting crafty there. Check. You could lose, I could lose that there. Now's the point where you need to start being careful. this. It's the end game I'm struggling in. I just set myself up. Yeah, I set myself up for that one. Check.
Yeah, I kind of walked myself into a wall here. Eh, uh, hello there. I mean, if you're going to give me the game. Check me. Oh, now we do the finger point. Shinogi, check me. Yeah. Shinogi, check me. You were expelled. That's it. It's over. No. Why? Hm. Taito, your moves were awful today. No foresight, no aggression. I'll be honest, you played like crap. I'm sorry. No matter. At least now I've got an excuse to get you away from this wretched place. We'll find you a better school. All the people willing to raise a child, why did she have to be the one in charge of Kaito? She's cruel. She has no respect. It makes me sick to my stomach. It's not right. And that's exactly why I won't let her get away with this. I'm also familiar with neglective parenting, and I won't let it slide this time. She's going to give me what I need, and then when that time is right, I'll take my revenge. Not for Kaito's sake, but for, uh, but for my own. I think it's time you followed through on your promise. Oh, is that what you want? Tell me about this lead you discovered. Tell me what you know about Yuka Masaki. Uh, yeah, Kaito would be a bigger man than I if he forgave so easily. What? No remorse for your friend here? He's... he's... no oh boy. Not important for my plans. You hesitate a little bit. You hesitated just a tad, so... Just find my mother. If you don't cooperate, report this incident to the school board. Hmm. Now that's unexpected. Thought you would have cared a bit more. Very anyway, well, I'll provide the information I promised and we can be done with this little debacle. Yeah, I... Mm. Our, initial, our intel team has been tracking the remnants of the Typhoon Initiative ever since Special Assault raided their operating base five years ago. Multiple splinter cells have been discovered, including the one you recently exposed, which was led by Kana Suzuki. Her speech during the Spring Championship's final match was televised. That day, the world learned that Nuka Masaki was still out there. It's taken us several months of planning and secret ops, but we finally uncovered something of a lead on her whereabouts. It seems so said she was assigned special security directives. That's sort of a response to the events from six months ago. One of my operatives has uncovered a photograph that we suspect was taken at Yuko's new recruitment site. Recruitment site? It's a speculation, but we believe she's been harboring criminals and gathering equipment. A scripted image depicts a small corner of the facility. Feel free to take a look for yourself. Alright. Um, as you can see, we've gotten a glimpse of the night sky. It's not enough to pinpoint her location. Unfortunately, we have no idea when this photo was taken. That means we can't cross-reference the cloud patterns to any weather, weather data. Additionally, there's too much light pollution to pick out constellations with full certainty. 
based on our best estimates and style of the, of the structure seen in the picture. I do believe it was taken somewhere in Japan. You know that the building is a warehouse, and based on the light pollution, we can guess it resides near or in a major city. Locations that match the weather patterns seen here have only narrowed things down to a few dozen cities within neighboring prefectures. It's also possible that it was taken here in Aichi, but there's something... There's nothing here that can truly confirm that. Of course, been gathering followers. They must be the ones responsible for the terror attacks that have been ramping up in recent weeks. Worthless coward. I think she could be right here in Aichi, watching us. I acquired this intel from a suspected follower of Yuko's. We haven't been able to track down the individual since we made contact. This group of hers. They're dangerous. More dangerous than anything. More dangerous than anything we've faced before. We don't even know what to call them. That's all we know so far. So after all that, the only clue I've got is that she's set up camp at a warehouse somewhere in Japan. Well, at least that was entertaining. I'll let you two take in what's happened. And Himiko, don't think I'll just forget about you, either. One way or another, you will cooperate with the government of Aichi Prefecture. Of that, I can assure you. So yeah, Kaito, um, sorry. Uh... Kaito, are you okay? I don't understand. Why would you? We'll find another way, I promise. We could you rather give up on sending the paperwork somehow? Here we go. There is no other way. I'm done trying to fight this. It's clear that you have other priorities on your mind right now. It's just a little disappointing that you refuse to put your friend first. Though I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Kaito, no. Maybe the Shinogi Chess Club isn't the right fit for me after all. Oh. No, don't say that. Please understand things from my perspective. My whole life I've acted in the shadow of my parents. I tried so hard to live up to their expectations. I wanted to make my mark on the world by researching the right subjects and bringing things out into the open. I may have flown too close to the sun. He didn't wish me to risk my reputation by asking the wrong questions. The only one be to be the best at, at Shinogi Chess. Would have been able to aid our government as a representative player. You know what? I understand the reason why. They didn't want me to mess up my life. Getting in trouble with the wrong people. With the initiative. It could be a death sentence. They didn't just shape my future career. They shaped this entire school to fit my needs. Wait, really? Do they have that much influence? It's true. The way this school is run... Sorry. The way this school is run, it's part of its stems for their desire to shape me and my colleagues into hardened chess veterans. Kaito, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You just need to wish me luck as I figure out the next step in my journey. So, I guess this is goodbye. Kaito, you can't. I'm sorry, Himiko. Even if I have doubts about your intentions, I do understand why you care so much about finding your mother. For everyone's sake, I hope you find what you're looking for. Just one last thing. But if you do, do not pursue Yuka Masaki on your own. My mother said she's dangerous. You're determined to track her down, report your findings to the authorities. Don't make the same mistakes we made last semester. Trying to deal with things on our own. And running afoul of, uh... With that, he was gone. He spoke. Now that things have permanently changed between us, the scary part is... I don't feel regret over what I did. Maybe that means things have changed for me, too. Is that really such a bad thing? I'm doing everything I can to save the city. Kaito will just have to accept that. Mm. Kaito's personal situation be damned. Or are these all just excuses which let me pretend that everything is fine? This is the most significant real-world consequences she has encountered here.
Everything is not fine. Shinoki Chess Club is sure to react poorly when they hear the news. My social connections will take a huge hit. Kaito is my greatest resource. Can't hope to come close to his level of investigative skill. So all I have left is the path that I've carved for myself. There's only one way forward. There's only one way out. This feeling within me isn't going to subside until I can silence my mother for good. That is how I'll shape the world. I must achieve this goal. Even if it kills me. The next day. So much happened last night, I still haven't fully processed everything. With Kaito gone, I'm feeling kind of lost. I have to press, but I have to press forward. It seems like I'm so close to a breakthrough. Emiko, come here for a second. Hello, Kenshi. Friendship with Kaito has ended. Now Kenshi is my best friend. What's up, Ke What's up, Kenshi? Meet Ayako Hanari, member of Yoshino High School's investigation club. Ah, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, glasses. All right, Kenshi promised to persuade the club into handing over their research on his family. Ah, uh, nice to meet you too. I'm just telling her about the files you were interested in. You guys made a lot of progress in my case, right? That's right. We're excited to share what we learned. It took us quite a long time to gather evidence of the Eastern Zones, but I think it was worth it. I need to hear it. This information will be of great use to the chess club. What, wait, what? You remember, you remember the Shinogi Chess Club? Uh, um, yeah? Oh, why didn't you tell me? Hmm? What's this all about? For the past few months, the investigation club has held a bit of a grudge against the Shinoki Chess Club. Might have slipped my mind that I recently joined, too. Are you serious? This is such a crazy twist! Please allow me to document this, these events in my next novel. Oh, so she's the novelist in the, in the uh, club we investigated here. Ah, uh, so... Does that mean she doesn't hate me? No, I definitely still hate you. And now she's reading my mind! But you will help us, right? You'll show us the files you've kept? Hmm. Hmm. So we're back to this again, huh? All right, I'll show you our research. Uh, thank you, Ayaka. Really appreciate that. Follow me to the investigation club room. It's always like this, isn't it? It, yeah. It really is. Alright, finally. After a hundred turns. Or what it felt like a hundred turns. I let Kaito take... Kaito finally took my queen. My king. Hmm, I'll take it. We should be careful going forward. Can't let him get any closer to victory. You know, I was really hoping things wouldn't get to this point. I truly wish that you wouldn't have to get involved. Just how long has your mom been critical of your investigative interests? Pretty much my entire life. But all the drama last semester seemed to amplify her disapproval. I guess when your school is newsworthy for harboring terrorists, it's hard to avoid a bit of condemnation. He's got a point. I do feel bad for him. I won't let it slow me down. I should remain, remain attentive and consider the consequences of my next move. Alright. Yes, I'm actively trying to throw this game and It feels like Kaito is actively trying to throw this game. Okay, very good. Alright, captured? This is it. I'm sorry, Himiko. No, things are getting worse. You played well, though. It was quite a challenge to get this far. Sometimes I can't help but feel that my mother was right. Despite this new development, my skill in this game has worsened. That's not true. Even if, even if it was, you're worth so much more than your ability to play Shinogi chess. That's not what she thinks. Like it or not, she is family. This is just a terrible situation. I wish things were different, but I have to see this through to the end. I have to turn this around and show Kaito that we don't have to put up with the likes of, Taka of Takane Sakama. Oh, are you seriously coming this way?
my god, I'm trying to get you- I'm trying to let you win the game! Kaito, stop- stop throwing your pieces at my fucking queen! Bro! I'm trying to do you a solid here! Okay, alright. That's going in the right direction, at least. Possibly. Stop throwing your pieces at me and win! <laughs> I just blew up your fucking queen! You fool! You bloody fool! Oh my god! Just win! Where are you going? Win! Where are you going? Where are you go? Oh, are you going? Are you trying to take my home tower? That's actually an interesting development. No, you're not. You're just doing shit. What are you doing? Okay, maybe you are going in for it. All right, I'll move out of the way for you. What are you doing? Oh my God. Are you seriously doing this? Go ahead, go blow yourself up. Oh wait, that was my spy. Okay, bad. Where are you going? actively trying to lose this game. Please, please, please win. Okay. I, I guess this is the second battle in the game. Capture. I am actively trying to give you the victory, Kaito, and you are refusing. You are refusing. Okay, this might be it. This might be it. Capture. All right. We're gonna see our first opposing Shinogi checkmate. Shinogi checkmate. You lost. Okay. Darn. I was hoping there'd be a unique outcome, given the stakes, but it would be difficult, I reckon. No quit main menu. Time for us to sign off anyway. When we return, we'll proceed with in the timeline where we beat the stuffing out of Kaito and make him humble. This is very much as the progression of Himiko breaking down the facade of all the friendships that she has built up as all thus far in the pursuit of her revenge, blinded by revenge. It's truly 
like pretty much comparing the first game to the second game. We are very much dealing with the uh, consequences and the escalation of the stakes, right? Like the first game built up to the ending with the, uh, the reveal of Kana and the gradual build of all the type of initiative in Yoshino and the Spring Championships finale, taking Kana down. Now the stakes are escalating beyond that to active, real-world, political... situations where... Let's see. Both of our matches so far have been... generally... staked directly for the goal of Himiko solving Himiko achieving her goal. First one, the introduction, obviously, uh, Himiko's outside plotting to uh, achieve her ends. Captured 64, lost 74. I'd, does that count the uh, time that I threw the game to Kaito? But alas, yeah. So our two, to review our two matches so far. One, uh... hmm. Trying to process the introduction of Kaito's mother into the story here. And the way it was explained before the match actually started does ultimately kind of make sense. They've known about things for this long, and uh, the uh, issues with the uh, Kana overnight and the drone inspecting the drone drone cache. Uh, have uh, led to them knowing what Himiko is up to. It's more of a case of she's under surveillance until they can legally take her into custody and uh, take apart her eyes. Right, there's a phenomenon. So we're beginning to see that the, the initiative is much bigger in scope than the uh, brands that we knew about. So we'll see how this goes. Our investigation will continue next time. Until then, until then, let's shinogi.